Hey, welcome into the Mystery Fifth Hour presented by McCurry Van and Car Rental. We are recording this at the Flora Bama. We're in the main room. The director of marketing for the Flora Bama, Jennifer Parnell, is going to join us for this. This is the biggest mistake you've made in a long time. It is since the last time y'all were here. Since the last time we were here, absolutely. That's Jim Dunaway. That's Lance Taylor. I'm Ryan Brown. The Mystery Fifth Hour is presented by McCurry Van and Car Rental, the rental company that can keep you uh, in a car. You can depend on them. There are all kinds of vehicles to choose from. Trucks, SUVs, and passenger vans, we make it easy to get in and out there and easy to rent at McCurry. they got locations in Athens, Muscle Shoals, Huntsville, Coleman on 2nd Avenue Northwest, and big news coming soon to Tuscaloosa on Skyland Boulevard. Here is their number, 256-559-1003. That's 256-559-1003 or McCurryRentals.com. That's McCurryRentals.com. And 45 seconds ago as we record this, LT just dropped the P word to the studio audience here. <laughs> he so did. He did, uh, in fact, do that. It's like we're Eddie Murphy we're raw in from the 80s. Flora Bama. When he's on stage, he thought he was like doing a stand up act. Probably. Has anybody <laughs> ever been thrown out of the Flora Bama for explicit language? Yes. Quite a few people. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Steve Powers has been thrown out. Not for explicit language. Oh, no, he, he, he told a security guard yeah. to go fuck himself. That's yeah. a little different. There right. you go. Yeah. I have the text messages to prove it. Yeah. That's <laughs> that would be explicit yeah. language. Yeah. That's directed at an individual. Yeah. I hung those text messages. I printed them. And yep. I hung them up on the wall downstairs at the floor of Bama. And I said, we're going to go cheers to this. But every time we would go back, they mysteriously disappeared. <laughs> right. <laughs> I imagine. Every time. Yep. It. Yep. I can only imagine. So, uh, so Steve has told us, uh, can we pry out of you the craziest thing you've seen here? Because Steve has told us his stories of the craziest thing oh he's seen. The craziest? There's so many stories. Well, a recent one. Um, y'all know Big Earl. I know you do. Yep. You like yes. Oh yeah, Lance them. has been on stage with him three times now. So yeah, overblown. So yeah, <laughs> I get asked to see. Big Earl's overblown, okay. or you being on stage with him is overblown. He, no, no, not it. being on stage with Big Earl is never overblown. Right. Me asking to be on yeah. stage is a little yeah. overblown. Yeah. I have never asked to be on. Now, stage. Jennifer, I was here for the last time, and Steve did set it up. I will, I will well, vouch yeah, for Lance he likes that to way. Encourage. He does. Yes, he is an enabler, as we call it. Yeah. Well. A few weeks ago, we um, are decorated for Christmas. So in the dome, there is a very large Christmas tree to the left of the stage if you're looking at it. And I guess uh, Big Girl decided he didn't like that tree. And he thought about it throughout his set, and it was just boiling. And at the end of that set, he took off. He told his bass player, get out of the way. And he took off running across the stage, jumped over the rope, and then, like, like kangaroo was it a pin who like it's a uh, koala that koala? jumped on a tree. He did that to the Christmas tree, and it came flying down. On was anybody customers. filming? Yes. Oh, oh good. Okay, good. So good, we've got good. we've got evidence of it. Oh, yeah. I don't know if yeah. uh, Jack knows he's kind of old. I was surprised he cleared the rope. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. That's one <laughs> thing, but the other thing, he could break a hip very easily. But yeah. he came out. He didn't even get scratched by any ornaments. Damn, well, that's that pretty, pretty good. Pretty impressive. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. Well, he's got something to live up to because we'll see him tomorrow night. So he's well, almost every Saturday night, right? Stage. What's that? I said, well, now you have to top. That no, 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 no. <laughs> My <laughs> ass. Too old, but he uh, is every Saturday night, 5.30, right? Every Friday and Saturday night okay. at 5.30. Yeah. That's a perfect, I mean, you got the mullet toss in the summer. Now we can start having the Christmas tree dive every fall. It can become a tradition. Here. Too much liability yeah. done away, yeah. right? <laughs> it's a little bit of a liability. It only but, takes yeah. a signature. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it only Sign takes a signature. Away, you're yeah. Fine. yeah. Uh, so a guy tackling a Christmas tree, is that top 10 craziest thing you've ever seen here? I don't know. There was one time where this couple came in and they had some pet parrots, like some like macaw size, like parrots. on their shoulder, like a pirate. Yeah, yeah. And they walked in and were like, I'm "That's sorry. a service animal, right?" Well, I don't know. We said you can't bring that parrot in here, both of them. And they're like, "Well, can you watch the parrot for a minute? I just need to go get a bushwhacker." <laughs> and so they just set them on the gift shop, like the clothes racks, and they were just watching the parrots. <laughs> yeah. And some drunk was like, "How much for the parrot?" Yeah, I'll tell you. yeah. Did you take thirty bucks? Yeah. One lady tried to bring a monkey in too. She tried to put it in her bag, but we have bag check that's called the special teams oh, coach at texas yeah. whoa, whoa 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 so somebody shout out hook them yeah, hook them yeah, hook em. <laughs> somebody's at jeff banks oh, actually it was his wife or yeah the stripper coco no stri the monkey was coco the, the stripper <laughs> yeah. name was uh what was her stripper name that's a true story so the texas yeah. special teams coach wife is a stripper and they've got a pet monkey named coco who bit a trick-or-treater it was I, it was something like rough, rough thunder thigh right? machine no, or something on. like yeah, that yeah no no stripper name was Big drop, no bottom or hang something. On, hang on. I'll yeah. get it. Just having an, an exotic that. stripper name doesn't make you stand out. You have to have a pet monkey with you. Of course. Yeah. Pole assassin. Her yeah. name was pole. pole assassin. I knew it was something. Oh, pole, right. assassin. That's pole assassin. Pole assassin. Good, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. The I pole assassin. That I'm from. I'm. I'm like a caveman. I'm from a simpler time when all my strippers yeah. were named uh, like Molly or something. Yeah. Yeah. Not pole oh, yeah. assassin. What? Oh yeah. 
Steve's so, reminded me of another story. Well, hang on, hang on. I don't want right. to finish this story. I oh, want to yeah. finish this story. So about the monkey. you got you got security doing bag check, and somebody opens a bag, and a monkey jumps out. Yeah. And apparently everybody in the community knew this monkey. So um, the people lived on a street where a lot of our friends live. And they're like, that monkey disrupts the neighborhood all the time. It barks at my dogs. And they have to call the police to come get the monkey. Well, the so monkey the barks woman. at the dogs? Or that makes the dogs. Oh, makes the yeah. dogs yeah. bark. It harasses the uh, dogs. Hey, monkey is, I mean, monkeys. Uh, yeah, have they're ill-tempered. Well, and they've also got a bad rap of uh, spreading some diseases. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Uh, you've seen Outbreak. No, I'm, I'm sure somebody might have got something oh. in the floor of over the years. <laughs> not from a monkey. Not necessarily from a monkey. Yeah. Yeah. Brown, was it? I, Brown, it was an Iron Bowl. Did we Did we pet a kangaroo? Yes, yeah, it was a kangaroo. It was yeah. a baby kangaroo hey. and an Iron Bowl. These two are always yeah. together, by the way. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. 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 We were not on drugs. No, we petted a baby kangaroo like somebody. We were at the Iron Bowl, and someone's like, hey, Dunaway and Brown, this is back when we're on radio, and our yeah. show was the round table then. Hey, Dunaway and Brown, man, we love the round table. Y'all come over here, man. We will show you something. We're like, all right. Open up the pickup so truck. So we walk up, we open up the pickup truck, and there's a baby kangaroo in the back of the pickup truck. And I'm like, not something and you. By the way, they're not indigenous. You're an Auburn girl. They're yeah. not indigenous oh, yeah. to yeah. Alabama. Yeah. No, these are Auburn fans. They had a, a kangaroo in their pickup truck. Why not? Well, I wondered why. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I, mean, why I wondered why. Yeah. But I mean, it was, a, it was a sweet animal, but kangaroos, they get big and they got claws. Like we always talk about on the show. Well, they're not mean. Oh, oh they no, they are. Oh, they are vicious. Google uh, people fighting kangaroos. Oh, yeah. yeah. I've seen them all like jacked up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, they're vicious. And, and they have razor ago. blades on there. The marsupials, they got the claws. Yeah. Okay, so I'll stay away from You need yeah, to. Stay away from Cartoons. Kangaroos. We talk about this in the show often. Cartoons and commercials. We've made polar bears, rhinoceroses. And, hippos, hippos. And, and hippos. Hippos. Are really dangerous. They are very dangerous. And, um, and and kangaroos look like they're all lovable and huggable. That's right. Yeah, but don't they're not. Polar bears hunt humans. Yeah. Polar oh, bears are apex. Yes. Polar yeah. bears are apex predators. They yeah. have no known, uh, no known, uh, what, what am I trying to say? I've had uh, two, a bushwhacker and a half. Enemies. Yes. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> like in the food chain, they're on top. Yeah. Uh, yes, and we've made polar bears all sweet and cuddly, but they're apex predators. Well, we need somebody to come dress up as a polar bear for um, Polar Bear Day. Dunaway will do it. No. Dunaway. Steve Powers. He dresses up <laughs> as everything, right? He does yeah. do that. He's a team player. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, I, I would assume getting thrown out, that happens a lot. Steve's been thrown yeah, out. I've been thrown out them. multiple yeah. times. You've been thrown out multiple times from the floor of Bama? Yeah, we've told these stories twice. you got to do a lot to get thrown out. I mean, I really, the, the, the first time, and I was a kid when... Let me want to say that I was in my twenties. The first time was uh, my shirt was off, and they were like, "Why is your shirt off? You need to put it on." I'm like, "I'm in the floor of Bama." Yeah. yeah after six. Uh, yeah. I love, I love how that changes at six. Like, gotta, <laughs> yeah. gotta have a shirt on at six. <laughs> what is the What is the difference? Yeah. Though? it's after hours. Uh, yeah, it gets hot in here in the summer. So that was that back in my twenties, and then there was a fight that broke out that I had to get thrown. But it's been a long time. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, uh, I've, never, yeah. I've never been thrown out of here, Jennifer. I don't think Dunaway has either. Have what you been is, thrown I've, out? Never I've never been thrown out. Either. Yeah. What is the most amazing reason somebody's been thrown out? Well, hold up. First, Steve wanted me to tell you the story about Miss Linda at Bag Check. Okay. So another Bag Check story, but do y'all know who Miss Linda is? I've so never, I probably sweetest, know her. Yeah. She's the sweetest little lady ever. So when you walk into the floor, baby, she's the first one you see once you get past the gift shop. She's so sweet and kind. And she was checking bags and we were interviewing her or something for uh, the musician's dinner. So we just had her on camera. So we kept asking her questions just to get anything out of her that we could and have it on video. And we're like, what's the craziest thing you found in bag check when you're checking people's bags? And she's like, oh, oh no, I can't, um, I can't tell you. I'm like, no, 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 like, tell me, what is it? And she whispered it in my ear. So I had to say it out loud. And she said, um, I found a lady's vibrator. <laughs> and I said, Miss Linda, oh my gosh. I go, what'd you do? She goes, well, it's, I, it's a I stole it. She goes, it's a personal appliance. So she's like going through her head. She said, well, I told her it wasn't a weapon. So she, <laughs> <laughs> so she got to bring it in. Yeah, she got to bring it in. It's <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Where, where's the, um, where's the most, uh, asking for a friend, the most common place or the best place to, like, if you were going to hook up, like, wow. make, make out. Well, ish. Make out. Well, Miss <laughs> Miss Robin, the late night MOD says it's in the photo booth. <laughs> in the photo booth. Yeah. I didn't know there was a photo booth here. It's Where's yeah, right booth. when you walk in on the right, you know the little. Oh, oh yeah, 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 Right, you know, you know, right when you walk in oh, on yeah. the right. Yeah. She yeah. says she catches people in there all the time. Really? Yeah. yeah. The photo booth. The photo booth. It's got I a never curtain on it. It is. <laughs> it does. Yeah. yeah. Sitting position in the curtain. <laughs> so I've yeah, heard. I've heard stories of Eric Church yeah. coming in here, and because he's so infamous for the hat and the sunglasses. He'll take the sunglasses and the hat off, and nobody will know who he is. That's true. I've hosted him here twice, and he does just that. And he walks That's smart. In and nobody knows. He'll just sit in the booth and hang out, him and his wife. Have that's you fun. ever randomly just come across somebody, and you're like, oh, my God, that's this person? Yeah. 
uh, Sean Payton was here, and we did that, and then we took care of him the rest of the night. The that Saints coach, yeah. You know? Was he here the same night, Kenny Chesney? Because I think they're buddies. Uh, no, they were not here together. Okay. But he was definitely here. So, yeah, so you just know. stumble across Sean Payton one night, and you're like, okay, coach, it's on us? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, he was awesome. He hung out. Yeah, really nice guy? Very nice. Yeah. Yeah, and he's been back for a few of the Wharf concerts when people like Kenny play, and he'll come Yeah. Back. Yeah. Yeah, Kenny Chesney. I told this story on our live show earlier. I heard this story over the uh, this past week, and this is a hundred percent true, right? Yeah, I heard this story from. Uh, I bet Steve knows who I'm talking about. A guy named Buzz Brainerd on um, uh, Sirius, Sirius XM. XM. Yeah, really, really good guy on Sirius XM. That he had booked Taylor Swift to be his opening act, and then they got a sponsorship of one of the beer companies. She was 17, so she couldn't be the opening act. So she has to go off the show, right? And he has to replace yeah. her with somebody. So the show ends. She gets a letter in the mail, and she opens it. It's a handwritten note for Kenny Chesney, and enclosed is the check for what she would have made on that tour. Oh, that's awesome. And she was like, "It's the at the time, I'm 17. It's the biggest check I'd ever gotten. Yeah. And it covered all my band, what they would have made on oh the God, uh, on the tour. That's so nice. Which is like, and, and we said this on the show, I don't know that there's a bigger artist that's more associated with you guys than Kenny Chesney. Yeah, and I wanted to ask you. So. Is that true, though? But, I mean, that's true, right? Well, I don't know about the Taylor Swift story. I assume that's true. No, 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 no. no, no. I, mean, I would say the most well-known one for sure. Uh, I mean, so there's I mean, all kinds of people. I mean, he he wrote a there, song but... about you. Yeah, No yeah. Shoes Nation. Yeah. We see Kenny Chesney's <laughs> love uh, for Love City. Yep. But the concert, and we talked about this on the earlier edition of the next round. When he was out here, I think it was the night Steve got thrown out, ironically enough. <laughs> it was, too, okay. was it not? It was. that was the night before. But was that not, right. as far as, like, the populace of everybody in Florida, but, like, the, the craziest scene? That has ever yeah. transpired here. I mean, that and was, how many people was it? So the whole scenario is crazy because it started out where, um, so I was working here at the time, so I helped put that on. And he wanted to do just a pop up show. He hadn't toured in a while, so he's like talking to our ownership team, and he's like, "I'm gonna come to the dome stage and do a pop up show, just be a couple songs, no big deal. It'll be awesome. We'll get a lot of publicity out of it." They get to talking, and it starts growing and growing. So then he's like, "I'm gonna do a beach concert. We're gonna make it free." And so from the day that they decided to do that, from the day of the show, it was 47 days to figure everything out. And so we'd never done something which that seems large. like a long time, but it's that not. is a very short amount yeah. of time. <laughs> it was insane. So we'd never done a show that large on the beach before, um, but it all came together and it worked out great and it was free. And when you say free, it's a dangerous word. If it's free, well, you can have it and you can have it and you can have it. So we had to figure out a way to get everybody tickets. So what we came to was we'll run the tickets through his site. You can sign up and you get four, two, four, two or four tickets, um, but you couldn't get more than that. Well, there was so like such a high demand for the tickets that his website crashed. And we had to have three days of people answering the phones oh. because there was time stamped, like 20,000 people time stamped to the exact like second where they all went on there to try to get it. So what we ended up with was you don't have fire code people. here, do you? Yeah. I'm kidding. <laughs> So we ended up with 40,000 people, including 400 boats out on the water. And it was free, and it was a good day. It was My a little God. warm. But and it was on the beach that, that's right great. out here. It's on yeah. the beach. And you can see, if you ever come to the Bama, there are aerial shots of it out there. And it's incredible to look at. What like, time of year? I don't know how you'll August. pull it off. I think it was August 14th. So it wasn't hot. It was so hot. Oh, I bet. <laughs> it was so yeah. hot. hot as 10 hells, <laughs> yeah. probably, right? But it seems like y'all should yeah. have a big show like that every year. Shouldn't we? We should just do that all the time. <laughs> I mean, just once a year. But this I, guy, his marketing, I mean, he is a savant. He's a genius. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you would want Kenny Chesney doing a free show every year. It's what Dunaway's Well, I know it could be a different too. artist every great. year. Right. I mean, roll in. I mean, who's this jelly roll guy? What's he doing? Roll him out here for a weekend, right? Roll him out. <laughs> Has he ever sung here, jelly roll? Uh, he, no. No, but he came here, but he didn't. Oh, did he come here yeah. too? I hear he's a nice guy. I, I've never met him. Steve yeah. him Steve, Is awesome. he a nice guy, Steve? Yeah, like yeah. have you guys? Say, no, he's a complete turd. <laughs> <laughs> have y'all ever had to throw a celebrity out? Um, I'm sure. Uh, what, yeah, there's a maybe. Ask, huh? No. Oh my god. Did y'all have to throw him out? Can you tell the story? No, I don't want to tell it. But some people. Oh, can get oh what Joey a Freshwater. Yeah, it, does. it was not Lane. I swear. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bad. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah. This is Jennifer Parnell. I do have some lame yeah. stories, but it was not. Yeah. The oh, 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 I bet you do. Wait, I bet I'm you do. Right. Oh, I don't think Brandon's going to like this. Yeah. He was there. Yeah. Oh, wow. All right. Yeah. So here we go. Yeah. So yeah. All right, this has just escalated. Jennifer Parnell is the director of marketing at the Florida Bama. This is the Mystery Fifth Hour presented by McCurry Bandit Car Rental. Sounds like Jennifer was this close to being offensive coordinator at Ole Miss. <laughs> <laughs> so Lane has been here. Oh. Lane has been here. Uh, this, I'm stories, just gonna. You just go. You go from story, there. Lane was not here. This happened in Fort Lauderdale. Oh. But the whole Florida team. We had a group of people down there, and it was entertaining yeah. for the weekend. And he ran into Lane. 
Oh, all weekend. Oh, yeah. yeah, and he was a fan of yours. No, he had no. There was okay. Oh, yeah. none of that. <laughs> no. uh, I've called him bullshit. He was a fan of yours. Is <laughs> he a fan of Brandon's? <laughs> That's her husband. Brandon right? is yeah. Jennifer's yeah. husband. Works here too, right? Bigger yeah. story, by the yeah. way. They all work here. Yeah, We're big incestual family. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let me just say this, and I've said it before. It's the most amazing thing when we first started coming here. Um. This looks like a honky tonk, but it's run like a Fortune 500 company. 100%. That's what blows me away. There's a lot behind the scenes. And there's sure. a lot behind the scenes, but what always blows me away, I actually saw this this morning. Like, your team is just like, hey, this needs doing, so everybody does it. There's nobody that's yeah. like, oh, no, that's above my pay, or below my pay grade. I'm not doing that. No, it's certainly a family. It's a big yeah. can-do attitude. I mean, it takes an army to run this place, and... I mean, the floor bam is just a shell, right? It's the people that make it, and that includes the staff. And there's a reason people have been here for 10, 20, 30 years working here. I mean, that's amazing to say when you're at a bar, but it's so much more than a bar. Yeah, it really is. Um, so I always hear stories about people that play at the wharf, and then they show up here and do an extra show. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so give me some names. That's called the pop-up show, The right? pop-up show, yeah. Well, it happens a lot. They don't always come play, but they'll, like, a lot of times we facilitate transporting them here so that they can come hang out after we have a really great relationship with the wharf. Um, but then, you know, an artist likes to get up on stage, so they'll be here, and people know they're here, so they'll jump up and play. But, yeah, we've done it with quite a few people. We've done it with Morgan Wallen, with Hardy, with Justin Moore, with Riley Green, with John Party, um, quite a few people. Old Dominion? Old Dominion yeah. was here for the Blue Angels, though. So they came and hung out, watched Bulls on the Beach, and they did get up and play for a while. That was awesome. Yeah, yeah. that is really cool. I mean, can yeah. you imagine being down in the dome and all of a sudden Morgan Wallen's on stage? Yeah. It never that happens when I'm here, though. I always I want it to happen I, when I I'm here. That, I, mean, I always hear about these pop-up shows. That I want is, to, <laughs> what do you? Is it like word gets out and then people start, like, flooding in? I mean, how does it work? Yeah. I mean, once a few people start seeing it, it's sort of yeah. like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Everybody I, wants to be a part of it. This, this guy, nice guy, almost said a bad word. <laughs> I'm driving. I forget where I'm driving. I'm stuck somewhere, and I'm listening to live show on Sirius XM from the Dome. And I'm like, is Kelsey Ballerini really there right now? And he's, oh, yeah, she walked in a few minutes ago. I think it was when Chesney and them were in town. Yeah. yeah and I was like, up. is she in the building right now? Because they're saying on Sirius XM, is that live? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> if I was there right now, Kelsey Ballerini would be like 10 feet from me. And he's like, absolutely. <laughs> you just never know. Yeah. Yeah. But we've asked this question before. Like if Nick Saban walked in and Kenny Chesney, who gets more people coming up to him? Oh, that's tough right there. They're, and this is from an Auburn be fan. running back and forth like ping-ponging probably. Yeah. Like I, I would say make sure you pick up Saban's tab because he doesn't drink. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, we'll cover everything, Coach. Whatever yeah. you so want. we got a bunch of water. Yeah. You could probably hide him, though, like stick him in a corner. Yeah, that's an Wait, was that a si that, was that, that was, was that a was. size? Yep, was that a size? Got her Auburn yeah. stuff on. You're not si you're dying for that guy to retire. Aren't you? Hey, what is the Iron? So Army Navy, that's the reason we're here. I don't know when you guys are going to be watching this, but we're on the eve of Army Navy. Unbelievable scene up here in the main room. What's the Iron Bowl like to watch at the floor, Bama? Well, I was at the Iron Bowl this year, so I how'd that go for you? <laughs> It, look, I knew that we weren't going to win it. It's so good was, for 15 and a half minutes, so right? I yeah. happy to just have a team that showed up and played. Yeah, they did. I mean, so for I was 59 and a half minutes, you love that game. Yeah, and I was right there when that last catch No, happened. you weren't. It was right, right in front of you, Jennifer? Yeah, really? I was, like, oh. I was just sort of rubbing it in my face a little bit, Yeah. But. It was still fun. Yeah. yeah. Were you that woman on CBS flipping a bird? And <laughs> Isaiah, but did you see her? That was so awesome. You didn't. You didn't cry though, did you? I'm not like that. I enjoyed the environment. I yeah. like. I didn't expect us to win, like I said. So just being in that stadium and being able to be a part of a good game, like I love. But it. what do you think it was like in here? I mean, I imagine people were having a really good time. They're probably having a party. It's the floor, Bama, and you got that no, game going I on. I get that, but I'm just saying. I, I just wonder if a lot of Alabama and Auburn fans come out specifically for that game to watch here. I mean, there's probably lots of shots being drank with all the yeah. – <laughs> they're rooting and cheering on. Occasional um, fights. Uh, no. Yeah. But is the, the biggest sure. game here, uh, viewing party-wise, is it Army-Navy? It really is because we do the big projector screen in this room right here, and uh, the environment's awesome. Like, it really is. It's, it's so awesome. fun. Yeah. yeah. People, I, I tell people all the time, like, the two sides. So pro and there's more Navy guys because of the naval bases yeah, around so here. Yeah, so close. Yeah, the naval bases are so close. But the room is split in half with Army and Navy with more Navy guys. The cool thing is, <laughs> I just sucked down so, some of that you, booze record. Did you choke on your <laughs> I'm an amateur. <laughs> the, uh, the Army and Navy guys give each other crap for oh, for three hours, but then at the end, when they play the school songs, yeah. everybody shows respect, and that's the coolest part. Absolutely. There's huge respect, mutual yeah. respect between them. Yeah. But I love that environment. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, back to the Iron Bowl. Did you look at Brandon and say, God, our bag check is better than our defense <laughs> at 4th and 31? Yeah. Yeah, if you're if if Auburn's defense was your back check, everything gets in here. Yeah. 
Look, he was a good fan. He was a uh, quiet and patient. And is he, he a Bama good. fan or an oh, Auburn? Yeah, oh, house so divided. Divided. yeah, house divided. Yeah, but yeah. he's a good fan. Like he really is. I'm yeah. So he didn't go nuts when Isaiah Bond caught the ball. He was excited. <laughs> he was excited. <laughs> he was respectful for Respectfully him. excited. excited? Yeah. We were with a bunch of Al- I mean Albert people. Oh yeah. yeah. So he had, he had, had to keep to it toned down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I had to keep Do y'all do any fun wagers or anything? Uh, on the I game? didn't do any betting, but he was definitely betting with everybody around us. So oh, yeah? I kept having to Venmo people money. <laughs> <laughs> so you had to do the payouts? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> wow. That's great. <laughs> All right, uh, Florabama. This is Jennifer Parnell. The best, uh, I mean, Florabama.com, right? That's the website. Yep. Yeah. But if you want to get information, follow them on Twitter at. Not on Twitter. Oh, so I'm sorry. Yeah. Facebook or Instagram. Yeah, Facebook so. and Instagram. I'm just so you saying Twitter. Facebook and Instagram. Yeah. Social media is what I meant to say. Yeah, there you go. We're easy to find. You and, can find it all the way. And there. the yeah. membership card is huge. I mean, yeah. if you're going to come here more than once a year, it's worth it. How many membership cards do you guys issue out on average? I mean, thousands of them for sure. But like you said, it pays for itself in pretty much one visit. You get discounts all year long. You get in free all year long, including mullet toss. So um, it's completely worth getting it, even if you only came for a week. Have you ever yeah. thrown a mullet? Every year. Okay. Yeah. So are y'all required to do that as employees? No, but we should require them to do that. That would be great. Yeah, like as yeah, a, as a uh, condition of employment. You ought to have to throw it a certain elite, yeah. uh, certain you length. Had, yeah. What's your record? It's harder than you think. I want to say 70-ish feet the furthest I've ever thrown. Oh, my God. <laughs> I really think that's my record is like 70. What, what it's is only the, around like 55. S- Steve, what's the overall record? record? What's the overall record? 190. Yeah, yeah. it was like a – Damn, that's a toss. Us. That is a toss. Fish. But Steve's told me you have to fold it in half, first of all. I like to throw it that way. I think that you fold it in half, and then you make sure that the head and the tail are facing the way you're going to throw it. Like a Oh, that would ball. seem poor aerodynamics. I would think you would I want the well. fold head. But do you it. squeeze it and throw it like – Just like a football? That's how I like to throw okay. it. I mean, there's other ways to do it, but I think that's the best way. The irony of you throwing it 70 feet, which is almost exactly 31 yards. There you <laughs> go. <laughs> Is really full there circle you for you, Jimmy right Bama. There. Jimmy it's Bama found circle. the tie for you. All, all roads lead back to the floor. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All roads lead to yep. the floor of Bama. Uh, I always am amazed about the music you guys have. Is the lineup on the website as well yep. when you, you go there? Just go to floorbama.com, and on the top, there's a little tab that says live music, and it's updated. That's the best place to go find it because it's the most up-to-date. And I will tell everybody, when you're not watching us on YouTube or listening to us on the Next Round app, um, and I enjoy this, iHeart on the iHeart app, you just go Floribama Radio. Yep. And not because Steve is sitting here. It is the <laughs> best program station. I listen to it on the golf course. Um, I'll throw it on. And the mixture of music between rock and country and some other shit lot, that he throws in there, some reggae and stuff. A lot of beach great. music and southern rock. Yeah. yeah. It it's is. like the Floribama, right? It's, yeah, it's, it's it is. It started with us going to all the iPods around and putting them in a spreadsheet and saying, what's actually played here on break when the oh, we we Well, oh, we yeah. heard last night live, we heard Motley Crue and Foreigner. Yeah. Trying to remember who else we heard. So you do get a great variety here. Yeah, absolutely. So the American classic from 1980, Urban Cowboy, Bud and Sissy get married in Gillies. Which at one time was kind of like the Southwest version of what you get here. It was the largest nightclub in all of America. I don't know if you know this. I mean, that's movies. I have not seen that movie. No, but Mickey Gilly. No, I mean, it's a legit thing. You know about Mickey Gilly and Gilly. Yeah, she's but I was going to ask you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was going to ask you, though. So they get Let's married. you were born before 1990. <laughs> Has anybody ever gotten married here? Oh, lots of people. People have been engaged here. They got married here. They have their rehearsal dinners here. They've gotten probably divorced here. Conceived a child uh, here. Probably. Yep, yep. Uh, in, in the photo- most mini weddings here. Yeah. It costs $5 in the photo booth. <laughs> <laughs> so where are the weddings normal? What's the most popular place for a wedding? Well, people want to do it out on the beach, but we did host one across the street, Oliver Grill, and they would walk down the dock, and at the end of that, they jumped in the water and scuba dove to a boat, and then they exited on the boat because they were big scuba dive. Boy, that's extra. Well, that's a lot, a lot of work. On that is a lot of work. Yeah. That, was, that really happened. So, like, if somebody, I mean, if somebody wants to get married here, do they just reach out to the floor of them and say, hey, we'd like to have our wedding here? Or what, yeah, what happens? I mean, we don't love hosting weddings. It's Why? It's a lot of, it's a pain <laughs> yeah. in your butt. Yeah. But, yes, yeah, so you would just reach out. You can find us on floorbama.com. Yeah. There's a contact page. Okay. Let, let's say 25 years from now. When I get cremated, would I, can I throw my ashes here at the floor of Bama? There are ashes in this room right no. now. No. Yes. Where? I think that, that corner up there. I think that, that was one of my there? drink a second <laughs> that what you were ago. Joking on earlier? Yeah. Yeah. He was still yeah, about the yeah. Nets. Yeah. <laughs> so people have just coming here because uh, again, back to the Iron Bowl. That happened in back to back Iron Bowls to the point that Auburn and Alabama both had to release a right. statement saying it is illegal to spread ashes on the field. <laughs> Because I swear to you, it happened in back to back Iron Bowls. I people, it, people. So you guys don't frown on that. I can just come pour my dad here. I've still got different. Sure. Yeah, okay. 
Maybe like put him in a nice little urn somewhere and just stick it on the. I mean, I could be subtle. You remember Andy Dufresne when he was walking out to the yard? <laughs> <Down his laughs> he's, just dro- he's dropping yeah. his rock out his yeah. wall. Yeah, yeah. Could, I can do that with Chuck. <laughs> he's cool with that. Could my urn be a nice 36D hanging in the dome room down Absolutely. there? Absolutely, it'll blend in yeah. perfectly. Yeah, some so, some of us call that heaven. But has, <laughs> but somebody has ever reached out and said, "Hey, I want to spread my dad's ashes here." Yeah, Have they it reached was out the to dad. you? Dad. It was yeah. absolutely, yeah. He and yeah, and you're like, absolutely. Yeah. Well, and he didn't spread them. It was just in a little urn, and they placed it in the shroom. That is really cool. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm sure it's been done, though, without you knowing, too. Uh, I'm sure it probably yeah. has. Yeah. Which, again, I think is illegal. <laughs> well, yeah. No, I do think it is. No yeah, joke. It's semantics. Well, somebody walks out to the beach and, like, tosses them in the water. Yeah. I mean, now, technically, we are currently in Florida, so I don't know the Florida law. I know in Alabama, I think it's illegal. We're in Florida right yeah. now? Yeah. No, right the, yeah, right now you are. Wait, so where is Bama? It is the uh, what all is it? So turn around. Okay. What all is in Alabama? The uh, the dome, the tide. No, 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 no. All the, the Florida tides Alabama. in Alabama, yes. right? <laughs> the roll. Yeah. Yeah. This whole building is in Florida, right? But then our marina across the street is. In yeah, Florida. the marina is in Alabama. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And the other two restaurants and the liquor store. The most beautiful part. The most beautiful parts in Alabama. <laughs> don't let that. Don't let that wash over you. She's not going to comment, but the marina is the prettiest part. <laughs> And it's in Alabama. It is in Alabama. Are you an Alabama native? Yeah. I Where'd you grow up? Gulf Shores. So Gulf right Shores. Oh, okay. Down the way. Yeah. yeah. All right. She's Jennifer Parnell. She's the director <laughs> of marketing of the Florabama. This is the Mystery Fifth Hour. It is presented by McCurry Van and Car Rental, the local rental company you can depend on. All kinds of vehicles to choose from, including trucks, SUVs, and passenger vans. I feel like I make it awkward there at the end. Did I make it awkward right there for you? I mean, it's all. Uh, yeah, our whole show's awkward. Yeah, yeah. it really is. Hey, final question for me. Um, I was in the middle of a read. That's okay. You can go back to so it. If I, if what, I, what is the most uh, for our uh, bushwhackers you've ever heard of somebody consuming in one day? Well, I told you this earlier. There is a writing on the wall in the female bathroom in the uh, breezeway that says, new record, seven bushwhackers and still dancing. Wow, that's, that's true. Whew. I think that's pretty. No, impressive. seven. I just yeah. don't know how you handle that. Yeah, it's a lot of milk. Yeah. Well, the that first is. I was telling <laughs> no, I was telling somebody the story of the first time I ever had a bushwhacker. The first time we were ever here, we went and played golf. Me, Dunaway, former Alabama quarterback Jay Coker, and Paul Register. Y'all watch your toes, Brandon's gonna drop a few names. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> literally, literally, I wanted to set the set who was there. And Paul Register, one of the owners here, right? Yeah. So we come back and we're gonna do a Sunday night show, and I'd never had a bushwhacker. Ever? And, Ever. I'd never been here. That was the first time I was well, ever and here. For, so for, for a little background, he doesn't drink I a lot. I don't drink a yeah. ton. Yeah. We're, yeah. we're turning the corner on it. Yeah. yeah. Ishmael. Ishmael. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so we've been out playing golf. We went out to Lost Key and played. And this was in the summer, right? It was like Yeah, August. it was August of 22. So it was like 110 yeah. degrees out there, right? Yeah. So I show up here. I go shower at the condo next door. And I show up here. And I am dying of thirst. So Paul says, here, try a bushwhacker. So I suck it down like it's water. Like, it's so I'm, refreshing. So I'm dying of thirst. I was like, man, that was good. Bring me another one. So I get about halfway through it. I'm like, holy crap. Was that what we did Sunday night show? We did the Sunday night show. And the whole time we're doing the Sunday night show, like the outside is, we're out there in the, uh, what's that called? The green area? Where the Santa's, yeah. Yeah. Santa's going to land tomorrow. Yeah, we're close, Santa's to gonna, close to where <laughs> Santa's going to land tomorrow. And like the whole place is spinning. I'm like, man, I cannot focus on this show. And we did like an hour and a half, and I was lit because I just, I mean, I'd suck that up. strong. They get yeah. you quick, don't they? they? Do. Yeah. yeah. We, st- good, we like, still call start. it. So you yeah. can start with one and then. Yeah, 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 yeah. We still call it his best show. Yeah, it probably was. We <laughs> almost. Somebody got, get him another one. I, it might have been. No, 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 no. No, <laughs> no joke. No joke. We got, uh, almost got a cease and desist from an attorney for that show. What? This is like a mixed story. Where, what? Where no, uh, there, there's a running joke. I only hate one person in this world. We told the background story. We started talking about former it. boss. Yeah. I talked about how I wanted to gut him. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, that's probably not the best yeah. thing to and, talk and about. He said, but that was the one time we screwed up and called him by name. I might have done it. I don't remember because I was a bushwhacker and a half in. <laughs> yeah, uh, but but we got a warning from an attorney that there might be a cease and desist on the way if we didn't shut it down. We must have sweet talked your way through it because you're still here. Well, you know, uh, we're very likable. This is what I'm supposed to read that I was not part of that conversation, and for legal reasons, will not comment now. And then. <laughs> And then, then on the back end of the show, these guys wearing nothing but like speedos parachute in on the uh, on the beach and come up and did an interview. With yeah, us. You they were that? from uh, Colombia, Argentina. They were Arge- yeah. the Argentina, Argentina because I commented that they were they were fairly attractive. I was comfortable in my sexuality that they yeah. were fairly good looking guys. Jim told them they had a nice body. They yeah, I mean, because I'm a guy who I I I am not in great shape, and they were tell? in great shape. Round is a shape. 
Uh, that is a shame, Jim. <laughs> <Holy shit>. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back to fourth and 31. Um, uh, it is a shape, but it wasn't their shape. And I just was like envious of their body. I was like, God, I wish I had that body. And I may have said that on the air. And next thing you know, they're sitting next to us and yeah. uh, having a very awkward conversation. Very awkward. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm sitting here interviewing a guy, and he's wearing nothing but a Speedo and, like, a, a parachute harness. Yeah. <laughs> and he's talking with a Colombian accent. And I'm like, I know, I've had a bushwhacker a, I know I've had a bushwhacker and a half, but surely there's not, like, shrooms in this thing, right? No, not, not, not that we So, <laughs> Jennifer, <laughs> you've <laughs> only known us for a little over a year. But mine, yeah, mine but you works. love us, right? I love you. Okay. Love my you. mind wanders and you know, just it goes different places. But I'm going to give you a bad hypothetical. What would be worse for the floor, Bama? A lightning storm during mullet toss or the Santa drop and the chute doesn't open? Uh, the Santa drop and the chute doesn't yeah, open. Yeah, can you imagine all I the kids? i got a backup plan for a mullet toss. That, you don't have a contingency a, plan for that? I've got contingency plans for Santa arriving due to weather, but that that would be a... That would be tough to like do. how many kids, kids roughly be... are on the beach watching oh Santa? Oh my drive? gosh, have you hundreds. Ever seen it? Uh, yeah, there yeah, might hundreds. be like 500 Santa kids goes out there. flat right to the sand. <laughs> I'm so excited to Brown's see Santa. Brown's laughing after his second bushwhacker. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> can you good. imagine just Santa flat right to the sand with oh all those God, kids good. watching? No Christmas is your mom. Here. Yeah, I, I, I minored in public relations at Montevallo. Valley. Your quick answer is, don't worry, kids. That was only one of Santa's helpers. Yeah, That's right. He's Santa. still up there. Yeah. Santa's got yeah. magical powers. His shoot would never not open. Yeah. Yeah, that was a fake Santa. The real yeah. Santa's still coming soon. Steve, go get dressed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, let's hope that doesn't happen. Hey, pretty, That's a not terrible. Happen. We're not even going to put it out there. Terrible hypothetical. Pretty yeah. quick thinking for a round guy, huh? That's right. Thank wow. You. We, this, this will, this, this will, wow. Wow. Well, this will they, come they, up. They will tell you. Nine, this is all I remember you for yeah. is the round comment. Uh, 100%. Okay. Remember yeah. the girl that called me round? Yeah. <laughs> we'll say, hey, uh, great trip to the floor balance. Yeah, but mm. Jennifer called me round. Yep. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. going to be motivation while you drink your Budweiser. <laughs> yeah, motivation. <laughs> my, my last non light beer of the day. Thank you. <laughs> Keeps jabbing. Yeah. Keeps jabbing. All the calories. Has anybody ever been banned from life from the floor band that you know of? Yeah. Oh, wow. That was a quick yeah, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty hard to do that. But yeah, there's a, a list of faces. Do y'all like door. have the list? Yeah, there's this picture so you can recognize them. And they can't come out. Does one of them look like the coach at Ole Miss? <laughs> <laughs> no. He's welcome anytime. <laughs> oh, he's welcome anytime. Yeah. Wow, that away. Wow. Yeah, Jimmy Awkward. Sorry. I'll go hey, back. That's one of the I'll things like, being around. I've seen <laughs> how, how you guys make the uh, Bushwalkers. I want to see that list of faces. I wish That's I like you. FBI's 10 most wanted. So it there's a, like wanted pictures. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a face list and you show all the staff. These people are not welcome. Yeah. How many people are on that list? Right now? I don't know. There's probably 10 on there. But has yeah. anybody ever tried to come back in and they got caught? Like, it seems like you all yeah. have such a mass of people coming through the volume. Yeah. But the door staff's really great. They're on well, top of that. What yeah. would I have to do to get banned for life? I don't know. I mean. Just give us an example. You don't have to obviously go names. But what is one act that got somebody banned from life? I think just acting a fool, like just taking it to the next level and just being out of control, ridiculous, where you're like, look, you just can't, you need to take a break for a little bit. Don't probably numerous, if, like, uh, ejections. Like, if I get thrown out yeah. like four or five times, you're just going to say, don't come back. Yeah, you need a break. Yeah. Yeah. Can I get off the ban for life list? Yeah. Like, with good behavior? Yeah. I you, can apply, you gotta, I can you, apply to the wall. Hey, you got to jump out of the, uh, you got to be the Santa drop. <laughs> yeah. We, we punish you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, that is the mystery fifth hour. Jennifer has been amazing, uh, and the floor Bama is always amazing to uh, to host us here. If you need a car, van, or truck rent from McCurry, McCurry Van and Car Rental, the local rental company you can depend on, all kinds of vehicles to choose from, including trucks, SUVs, passenger vans. They make it easy to rent. They get you in and out fast. Locations in Athens, Muscle Shoals, Huntsville, and Coleman on Second Avenue Northwest. And coming soon to Tuscaloosa Skyland Boulevard, call and reserve your rental today, 256-559-1003. That's 256-559-1003 or mccurryrentals.com. You guys clap if you love the Floribama. Give, give the Floribama a hand. Yeah. Thank you, Jennifer. You were awesome. You, you put you. Dunaway in a spot, which, which makes you a fan of a, <laughs> Not a once. Not yeah. twice. Not <laughs> numerous three. times. Does the condo have a gym? You know what it does. <laughs> yeah. Lance told you earlier, no way. No so way. do cardio. Liability. Yeah. 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 Uh, he's Jim Dunaway. He's Lance Taylor. I'm Ryan Brown. This is Jennifer Parnell, Director of Marketing at the Floribama. Visit the Floribama when you're in South Alabama. You will not regret it. It is one of the most amazing places on earth. Thank you for joining us for the Mystery Fifth Hour.